So the plan is to take a kayak from here to get dropped by boat at something like one hour of boat ride and then we're going to come back by kayak to the shore back to the Muang Noi <laughs> It's pretty hard to remember all of those names Muang Noi, Muang Kai, Muang Kwai But anyway, you get the thing So we have a beautiful weather and I think we're gonna swim a bit I think it'll be perfect Okay <laughs> I thought he's going to make it descent, but he made it well, so why not, like that. We can hold it here, sir. I know it was a bad idea to put it descent. <laughs> we are losing the boat. <laughs> We're gonna ride this boat for one hour before reaching the starting point. So it's going to be like a little village. I think we're going to have a tour inside of it. We just arrived on the shore of this little village. Look at this view. Stunning. So the name of the village is Sopchem mm -hmm. and it's basically only about the weaving scarves, so there's a lot of factories. Everything is beautiful, you want to buy each of them, but I think I will never really wear those kind of scarves. It's a problem and we cannot really buy anything because we are for a long time. That's true. They create a really beautiful product like this one, that's handmade. Excuse me, how much is it for something like that? Um, big. It's a big one? Huh? Yeah. How much is it for that? Um, 100. 100? Yeah. Hi. That's good. That it's three? Four. 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 Okay, four euro for something mm -hmm. that like that. It's so, so nice. But which one to choose? I have to pay so high for you, 30,000. They can lower the price until zero, I think. You heard him. It's him, the cat of the day. Ali, I bring you to Paris. You're gonna love your new life with us. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish I could bring you with me. Bike it of the day. Anyway, I think that people who's living in this village are living from selling all those scarves because all of the boats are coming here with the tourists who's doing the kayaking. So they stop here and they buy these scarves. They are beautiful. I would love to buy one, but in the end I didn't crack. And now it's finally the time to do some kayaking. Roma is already preparing the boat. I think you should take your sandals. Okay, we are on the water since now 10 minutes and Krishna is already exhausted. <laughs> okay, actually I am exhausted because I hurt everywhere. It's because look, I'm on the back, so I'm like the motor of the boat, you know? Krishna, she's just the direction, so it's normal. Ahem. Anyway, now it's really better when the engine of the boat is turned off. I think the guy is like following us. I told him we can go, it's okay, we'll go back by our own. We know the road, there is only one way. It's cool, but I think it's going to be longer than what we expect. Christina! Where are you? I'm here. But where? This 
place is more than perfect to do a little break. Whew. And we are maybe 10 min minutes from midnight, just this way. Oh, you are here to run fish? Thank you. No. <laughs> So we are now on the main street of Muang Noi, which is a riverside village in the north of Laos. And I don't know if you noticed, but there is absolutely no car and no scooter. There is no road access here. And it's from so far one of the best and cutest village we saw. I mean, we arrived two days ago and we don't want to leave because we are scared to be disappointed by the other village we will saw after. I think uh, people realize how cute was this place something like six or seven years ago because before it was not that touristy. I mean, I never came here before, but I can tell there is a lot of guest house, a lot of restaurant. It's kind of weird. It's still really authentic, like the dirt uh, road, a uh, lot of local people, uh, the family are taking their shower in the river. But every day you have at least three boats full of tourists who arrive and also three boats full of tourists to leave. So it's always like something, I would say 70 tourists in this little village. So it's not that crowded, it's cool. Honestly, it's, for the moment, it's still really nice. I hope it's going to stay like that. If you're coming to Mung Noi, there is not that much things to do except chilling, it's a lot. Visiting villages, hiking, trekking, kayaking. And there's also a cave that's maybe two kilometers far away from the village and we are just about to get inside. Okay, so this is the cave. <laughs> okay, we just went out from this dark hole. That's what she said. So, uh, it's kind of hard to shoot anything inside because it's too dark and you will not see anything but anyway it's pretty scary let's go yeah okay. hey but let's go thank you for the information sir so we are trying to get to the second village and on the maps, they don't speak about this river, so we have to cross it by ourselves. Not a big deal, it's just a little bit cold. This dog is following us in a while now, and he's really friendly. I really thought that he's going to be like all the other dogs, you know, like they follow you for two minutes, they realize that you don't have food, and then they go back. But no, not this one. Ali! That? Christina and I feel really like adventurer right now, walking in those uh, old rice field with our dog crossing the buffalo gang. Like it. You can definitely feel that this village didn't get any profit of the tourism like uh, Muang Noi. But it gives a really iconic look here. You can find only one guest house here. But the thing is that people are not really surprised watching uh, the tourists here because they can see every time because the tourists are coming from Muang Noi to doing the trek through this village and they continue far, far. 
if you are looking for a really remote place with absolutely zero tourists, zero bar, zero restaurant, I mean maybe one restaurant because there is one guest house, you should go sleep there. It's only one hour of walking from Mung Noi. But if you are looking for something alive, you should sleep in Mung Noi because there's a lot of choices of accommodation, a lot of cute restaurants and yeah. few bars where they have the best piña cola I ever had in my life. It's true. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Not a better way to finish this hike. It's a bit bumpy, but it's pretty cool. At least it's going to be fast and we can go eat because I'm hungry. Ooh. I think we forgot someone. <laughs> <laughs> 